What's good, YouTube? It's Cuddle of Death here. You hey, happy day, woo! And as you guys can see, this is our episode one of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I am super, super excited to actually play through this game and be able to use my capture card this time because if you guys caught my stream right as I got the Japanese copy, uh, I was streaming it from my webcam, obviously since I don't have a Japanese capture card. So it's nice to actually be able to finally record this. And it has been such a freaking struggle to try to get this game at midnight here at Walmart, which would have been easier for us to get instead of downloading it, which takes about two hours for most people. So right off the get-go, you know, this is Professor Birch explaining what a Pokemon is. The fact that we are in the world of Pokemon shows off a little Azuril there. Nice retro graphics from third gen. And, uh, you know, with this nice remake, I love the intro. I love what they've done. We have Azuril there bouncing up and down. I love that. Uh, nice little Leyron. I honestly, whenever I saw this intro, whenever I was playing through the Japanese version, I was like, wow, this is so cool. We had the Shroomish, the Shroomai, the Poochiena, <laughs> and the Rarasaurus Rex. If any of you guys remember who Rarasaurus Rex is from my old, old, like 2011 Pokemon Ruby Let's Play, I was so happy to see Tropius in the intro, in the beginning of this. And you get to see Dat Ass from Dat Tailo right there. <laughs> you get to see Dat Tail. <laughs> I don't know, they did such a great job on the intro for this. It's super, super hype, and a lot of people have always asked, Oh, are you hyped? And they ask, like, their favorite YouTubers at and whatnot. I am hyped. And as soon as I saw the character choices earlier like this, the little background and how it moves and whatnot, it is so cool. I ran in the other room, and that's the first thing that I was showing to Twit, which is my boyfriend. I keep, I keep mentioning that because a lot of people... I was actually really surprised. Uh, I made a video talking about how Twit and I are going to be doing the co-op. And they're like, oh, he's your boyfriend? <laughs> the video where I mentioned that he was and we're, we were going to be doing the co-op. And they're like, so is Twit your boyfriend after I mentioned the video? Anyways, we started off as a female character named Kristen, of course. And I love the sprites in this. They did a great job. May looks freaking adorable. And I don't know. There's so much hype in this. We're still in the back of a moving truck like the original Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire, which still makes me wonder why are they leaving like a little 10, 11 year old kid in the back of a truck with all of this like stuff in it that could just, you know, fall down and essentially cost us a hospital trip <laughs> right off the get go. That is not very fun and that would not be fun. But you know what? That's just one of the things that they're never going to be able to explain. But apparently, you know, this this moving van that we're in, this moving truck, if you want to call it that, is just so sturdy. Everything is secure, even though I still feel like it would be sliding around. I don't know. Regardless, we have made it here to the beginning town, jumping out like a freaking boss right off the get-go. Check out the graphics. They look fantastic. That's sort of a rhyme right there. And there's a jet plane in the air. I actually didn't mean to rhyme right there either. And the nice little beautiful music. Listen to this. And we have our mother. Kristen, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of the bumpy moving truck all that way? Why did you have us go in the, the truck like this? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Kristen. You don't have to sleep outside. You don't have to sleep in the doghouse anymore. Come on, you have to see the inside. And of course, uh, you know, if there's some new subscribers to my channel, welcome to my channel. I will be dishing out tons of Pokemon content. Of course, or it's related, gonna be having tons of battles and whatnot, and definitely how-to videos. I already have a video up on how to get your shiny Belden with the Metagross site. That will be linked in the description as well, so make sure to check that out. See, Kristen? Isn't it nice in here, too? The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They are really making move. Or they really make moving a cinch. This Machoke looks super high. Growl, 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 growl. <laughs> Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, get out, get out, get out of my house. I don't know what he was saying. He's like, I'll call you later. 
You should go and see your new room upstairs. Kristen, Dad even bought a new clock for it to help celebrate the big move. Wow! Our house welcoming gift is a clock! You'll need to set the time, though. I mean, how freaking... Uh, nothing says housewarming like a brand new wall clock. Does anyone actually... Do you guys use a wall clock anymore? Let me know down in the comment section below if you actually have a wall clock. So we do have to set the time here, but guess what? 3DS technology here, it goes off of our time. You just press the A button and boom! Um, well, it's an hour ahead of my actual time. An hour and one minute. But whatever, it works, it works. How do you like your new room, Kristen? Good, everything is put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. <laughs> I don't know why I read it like that. It sounded really awkward. Moving everything in downstairs. It is, it really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Oh, <laughs> oh, but maybe you should check that everything's all there on your desk. Actually, whenever I did the demo, or not the demo, whenever I played through the Japanese version, I didn't check that. Uh, is there a potion on my desk? We have notebook full of adventures. Oh, no, I don't care about this stuff. Do we not have a PC in here? And look at our, look at the Lapras stall. If you guys remember the first, the first time you would see the Lapras stall, anyone remember Pokemon Stadium 2? Because this Lapras doll was in Pokemon Stadium 2, and it was really cool looking, and I'm really happy to see a gigantic Lapras doll up in my room. Oh, Kristen, Kristen, quick, come quickly. Ooh. It's the Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on TV. We brought you this report live from in front of Petalburg Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that reminds me. This is what... This reminds me one of the dad's friends lives in this town. <laughs> Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. So that we will. We will go introduce ourselves to our new little buddy. And uh, look at how pretty it is at nighttime. And oh my god, take a minute to enjoy this music again. That is beautiful. That is beautiful music right there. Beautiful music. Oh gosh. Oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're Kristen, our new next door neighbor. Welcome. We have a son who is just about the same age as you. He has been so excited about making a new friend. He should be in his room upstairs in blue text. I hope you'll go and introduce yourself. You look like a nice lady. <laughs> and I can't really do manly voices. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Look who it is. <laughs> I love the sprites in this game. They did such a great job at making all of the trainers look really, really cute or kawaii, whatever you want to call them. Pokemon fully restored, items all packed, and... <gasps> you? Who are you? <sighs> look at their eyelashes. They have fantastic eyelashes in this game. Kristen? Oh, you're the new kid who just moved in next door? Huh? I didn't know that you'd be a girl. Dad, I mean, Professor Birch told me you were a kid of a gym leader, and I sort of hoped you'd be a guy. My name's Brendan. Well, I guess we are still neighbors, so nice to meet you. Let's be friends, okay? Huh? Hey, Kristen, don't you have any Pokemon? If you want, I can go catch you one. Ah, oh, wait, I forgot. I'm supposed to be going out to help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Dude, his facial expression. They did such a great job. Some other time, okay? Seriously, the facial expressions, man. The freaking facial expressions. So we can go ahead and leave and actually get out of here and get to the really important part. <laughs> I think I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go get help. <laughs> help. <laughs> help me. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at this. This is so cute. <laughs> Hello, you over there. Please help me out. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. So time to choose our starter. Let me know down in the comment section below which starter you will be choosing. And that Puchina kind of looks like it's twerking, doesn't it? Look at that. It's like shaking just a little bit. 
<laughs> I just shake it a little bit. Um, okay, so about this, because I will be doing a co-op with Twit, I actually know who my starter is going to be for that. So for this little solo let's play, we're actually going to choose Mudkip. And as cool as Mega Swamper is, I really don't know if I'm going to Mega Evolve, if I'm going to Evolve and Mega Evolve this Mudkip, because Mudkip in this game is so freaking adorable. I might just keep him as a Mudkip and use a different Mega Evolution in the Let's Play. Which I would kind of prefer because I'm the type of person who wants to do stuff a little bit different than uh, what other people do in their Let's Plays. Everyone's going for Mudkip, so... Woo! Critical hit right off the get-go! Check that out! Look at our little Mudkip putting in work already straight out of the Pokeball! Fresh off the shelves! Critical hit to Poochiana's face! Boom! And we just took it out. It is out of there. Down and out. That is the way to go. This Mudkip is already proving to be a formidable... I almost said a formidable foe. A formidable ally. Whew! I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh? But you're Norman's girl, Kristen. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young lady. This isn't the place for a chat, though. Come along to my lab. Carry on, cheerio. <laughs> Listen to that music. It's so good to hear the music. Woo. So, Kristen, I've heard so much about you from your father, but he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's daughter. Well, I would hope so. Otherwise, we need to have a paternity test and maybe get on Mori or Jerry Springer. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? So we got the Mudkip. Woo! While they're at it, why not give a nickname to that Mudkip? Woo! Yeah, what's the, why do I keep saying woo? This, this video is full of woos. Yup, that's the spirit, so what kind of name will you go with? Um, you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> As a joke, I named my Mudkip in my uh, Japanese version Dog. But I think for this one... Uh, we're just gonna name him, uh, oh man, he's gonna be straight up Dr. Kip. Whoops. So he's, yeah, he's gonna be Dr. Kip. Kip for short, because he's probably never gonna get involved anyways, plus we can go to the name reader later, but Dr. Kip! You know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think it'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My boy, Brendan, happens to be out on Route 103 right now surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out that way yourself. What do you think? So yes, let's go do that. Great, I'm sure Brendan will be happy to hear that too. He can help teach you what it means to be a trainer. Oh yes, and if you're ever lost along the way, just use the area nav on, oh, la, 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 on your Pokenav Plus. You can use it to see how to get to Route 103 where Brendan should be. And if you or your Pokemon get tired, get some rest back at your new house. So now we can actually leave. We started off the game. We chose our little mud kit. You know, let's, let's take a quick look. Take a quick look at a little Dr. Kip. Please be a good one. Ah, uh, man. He is impish, which I guess wouldn't be that, <laughs> would be okay for like competitive battling, but uh, dropping the special attack isn't the best. But you know what? It, it is what it is. Dr. Kip will be accepted for the type of Pokemon for he is for his ability and everything. So we're going to go ahead and head straight up here, Route 101. It is the place to be. And I do believe that every single time you run into this grass, your first encounter is always going to be a Wurmple. Uh, just like in Pokemon X and Y, your first encounter is always a Pidgey. So I don't know, you just start off fighting the weakest Pokemon ever, Wurmple. He is gonna get me, he's gonna get me so hard. <laughs> Why couldn't we have had a critical hit right there? He goes for the nice and powerful string shot, trying to slow Dr. Kip down. Dr. Kip will not fall to this little bug right here. I I, how cool would it be if I actually picked up a Wurmple? They are qu quite strenuous to train though. So I probably won't actually have an idea of what I want to get in mind. And by the way, I told um, my November donators, my top November donators, that they would get to name some Pokemon throughout this Let's Play. So whenever I decide on a Pokemon that I actually want to keep, I will probably take their naming suggestions, uh, which I've already hit them up for. So you'll probably hear whenever I nickname a Pokemon a certain name, I'll be like, oh, so-and-so suggested this nickname. 
And, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be to honor them as a big thank you. Also, huge shout out to Kuro, 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 Kuro. <laughs> Um, Kuro Ryushin, Kuro Ryushin, I always butcher her name, but that's why I just call her Kuro. Um, she actually did the little Houndoom Team Aqua art on my layout, and of course, my layout was actually made by a friend of mine named Tomas, aka Tomato HD, Tomato High Def. I hope you guys really like the layout, and my thumbnail was made by Tito Station, really, really cool dude, made cool graphics. And I hope that you all really like the layout, the, the cute little Houndoom art that I have and everything because whenever I saw all of this, I loved everything about it and I figured that you guys would probably enjoy it as well. <sighs> Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? Okay, being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm gonna give you useful advice. And you guys can probably hear Twit in some of my recordings because he's super loud right now. First of all, that's a Pokemart there. Just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for capturing Pokemon. I'd like you to have these as part of a special promotion. So instead of you having a PC at the beginning of the game and getting your potions, you, you get potions here. Potions can be used anytime, so they can be very useful to have. And I love how the Poke, the Pokemon Center works or looks in here. And this is a Pokemon Center. Look for a red roof. Uh, ask a woman inside and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That's it. That was the advice from me, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Have a great journey. Woo! Tons of woos in this episode. So with that, we're actually just going to head uh, straight up here. Because we do have potions anyways. Actually, I want to check out something because... They said that the Pokemart has Pokeballs, but I don't think it does until after we've battled. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's usually how it is, is you have to wait until you battle your rival, and then you do, you run your little errand, which in this case is just meeting up with Brendan here, and then you can start getting Pokeballs and capturing Pokemon and all that good fun stuff. So, oh my god, you guys, you see that puddle? That is way too much water. Too much water, seven out of eight. Seven out of eight? Seven point eight out of ten. Okay, so it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. Huh? Hey, Kristen. Oh, so you finally got a Pokemon from my dad. Then how about a little battle? Since we're here and all, I'm going to teach you what being a trainer is all about. Ha! <laughs> oh, man. I love this game. I love the graphics. Listen to this music. Woo! So he starts off with a nice and powerful Trico. Right off the get-go, this is going to be super problematic later. Uh, well, actually, never mind. It won't be because we're not going to be dual-typed. Because we're not evolving our Dr. Kip here. Uh, alrighty then. So he's going to he's gonna go to Pound Town on Dr. Kip. <laughs> Don't do this to Dr. Kip. No! <laughs> I want Dr. Kip to be safe. He's going to get a critical hit. Watch this. It really kind of sucks that Trico does start off with Pound, though, instead of, like, Tackle. Tackle is the way to go. But, I mean, look at Trico. Trico's adorable. We should be taking the level 7 easily from this. It's probably, what, 69 experience? 66! Bonk! I wonder if they changed it from 69 to 66. I don't know. Oh, look at this! Huh? You're not too shabby, Kristen! It was a good battle. Thanks. Here, let me heal up both of our parties real quick. Uh, yeah, our single Pokemon. Your team's health was restored. Woo, I don't know why I read that. And I have bad, like, vocal voice crack. <laughs> I think I know why my dad had his eye on you now. I've got my eyes on you. <laughs> you got your Pokemon. <laughs> Look, you just got your Pokemon, right? And you already have that strong of a bond? I get the feeling that you could befriend any Pokemon, Kristen, no doubt. Well, I've got s some good data here, so I guess it's time to go back to the lab. You should head back too, Kristen. So we will do just that. However, I do believe that's what we're actually going to do in the next episode, because... You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, guys, we're going to actually do it in this episode. So, just get some extra stuff done. I'm heading back to my dad's lab first. Come on, Kristen, I'll race you there. Of course he oh god we hit the grass but hit the ground running 
Okay, we're almost back. Oh my goodness, guys, this trip has taken us so long. It's several hours. We're several hours later. <laughs> oh, Kristen, over here. <clears throat> so I hear you beat Brendan on your first try. Amazing! Brendan's been helping with my research for a long time, so he has had a pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm-hmm. I think that settles it. Chris and I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. So it's nice of him to give it to us, but I feel like he's just being lazy. That Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My boy, my boy, Brendan takes, takes this with him everywhere he goes. Whenever he catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, he comes to seek me out wherever I am in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you meet, and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill your Pokedex. I'd love it if the world seemed wider, if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Arg, Arg, matey! <laughs> I'm getting the itch to get out and do field work again. Huh? So you got a Pokedex too, Kristen. Well, then here, have some Pokeballs on me. He is so happy. Look at his facial expression. You can use them to catch wild Pokemon. We got the Pokeballs. Now we can go and catch them all. If you catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm gonna get ready to head out from Little Root soon myself. It's like, I don't know, it really gets you pumped up and super turned up and hyped, right? We both gotta give it our all out there, Kristen. But with that, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the first episode of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. Make sure to smash the hell of that like button if you guys did enjoy this video and it also helps support the series. Also, make sure to answer the comment question, the com the comment question, yes, in the comment section below as I will be reading your responses. Um, my personal opinion is if I had to choose just one Pokemon right off the get-go as the starter, it would definitely be Trico, which you guys will be seeing in the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire split screen Let's Play with Twit. So let me know down in the comment section below who you would choose to be by your side. It has to be a Hoenn starter though. But with that, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you, all, thank you guys all for your amazing support. I love you guys. Bye!